Hi everybody, it's Daisy. I am a intern for Pandia Health. I'm a media special and in specialist intern for Pandia Health, and we are doing several events this this past month in July. We've done several events, but we're doing more events in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Pandia Health stands for the Black community, and we really just want to, you know, emphasize that again and make people feel that they are a part. Of everyone. Everyone should feel that they are part of the Pandia Health community, the com everywhere that people should be welcomed. And we really just want to hit home and spark com insightful, engaging conversations, have those tough conversations. And today we're going to be talking about why does privilege make people so angry? And, you know, why I'm going to wait till people come on. But the whole idea, if you're watching this back, thank you. We want to engage people have those really tough conversations like i've been i was saying and have people talk about these um topics that people like why does people privilege make people so angry people get really angry when they have around the idea of privilege i know a lot i mean i'm generalizing a little bit here but there are definitely a decent amount of Caucasian people that get offended when they are when, when privilege is talked about and privilege shouldn't make talking about privilege can make people angry and we're going to dive into that so thank you all for joining comment if you so would like we're going to wait for a couple more people to join on so that we can can have a watch party have conversation in the comments it's a short video but it just goes into kind of decoding why privilege makes people people so angry, what it really is, and why, how privilege is the rights is basically what, you know, we're just going to go into it. <laughs> I don't want to go too far. I don't, I, the video does the best job talking about it, but we're going to have an engaging conversation. So I'm going to wait for a few people to log on. So that way we can all be here when we're talking about it. But thank you all so much for joining. I really appreciate it. We're going to have a really engaging conversation, insightful conversation, and just talk about everything that um, happened. So, you know, we all have privilege in some way, and it's not an easy thing for people to come to terms with, but it's pointing out someone's privilege that shouldn't be a personal attack. Everyone to a degree may have some sort of privilege, whether you're straight, whether you are white, their privilege exists in different ways. And we're going to really dive into that. So thank you. There's now a couple of people who have joined. So we're going to start with sharing our video. Just, you know, I have our little sign that we, my family just got to put outside. So, you know, here we are. <sighs> thank you all for, there's a lot on here, but thank you all for tuning in. We are doing this in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Pandia Health stands with the Black community, and we really want to make sure everybody, people, everyone, regardless of their gender, their sexuality, their race, feels like they have a voice in the Pandia Health community. So how this works is I'm going to be sharing my screen. You all are going to be talking in the comments. I have my phone here with my Facebook app, so I'm going to be engaging with people in the comments as well. It's a very short video, but afterwards I'm here to answer questions if you have any, and um, just we're going to get dive right into it. Thank you so much for joining, and let's get into it. So now I'm going to share my screen with you all. Amazing. So...
So that was just an example of what privilege means, why people are so angry about it. I've just, I was kind of um, commenting a little to get the conversation started. So if you have any comments you'd like to add, this is all about, a, you know, inciting a conversation. But what I think is really interesting is, you know, first of all, let's start in terms of race. Race is really about, in terms of racial privilege, I know I am white. I no, there are so many privileges that come with that. This is an example, but I can get a band-aid that is the same, that is similar to my skin tone. I can't, people who are of a different, people of color cannot necessarily say the same. It is recognizing very, those kind of, those privileges that people like white people, for example, may take for granted because they, they it's something minor, but for some it's a big deal. I know a huge spark, huge topic that I've been noticing is ballet shoes. They are a light pink that matches a white woman's skin tone. A lot of ballerinas that are black or woman of color, they want a ballet shoe that matches their skin tone. This is, these are things that are people, you know, these are, this is about recognizing the privilege within your own life. I am able-bodied. I do not have to deal with, um, getting a reader at a movie theater, getting, having to, you know, reading braille or having an aide with me in a classroom, for example, I am able-bodied, I have that privilege as well. So it's a, I think privilege is not, is it really about recognizing what you, what is in your life and not getting offended by it. Getting offended by it does not do any <laughs> good. Getting offended by it, um, it's not meant to make you angry. Privilege is not meant to make you angry. It's about challenging the systems of oppression within society. And I know, like I've said, I know I am white and what I can, I can't compare my experience in life to a person of color. I just can't because I have certain privileges in life, right? Privilege that won't, that doesn't allow me to, because I, you know, we have different experiences because there's systems of oppression within society. What I can do is help to challenge those systems. So it's stuff like that. So let's keep the conversation going. I'd love to chat with people about it. If you have anything to say, please put it in the comments. We just watched the why privilege, why does privilege make people so angry video. I'm going to link the video if people want to watch it on their own, but please post a comment. Um, Let's get the conversation going the, um, and let's just talk about it. I'm here to answer any questions people have. I just want to emphasize Pandia Health stands with the Black community. We are doing a lot of events and so, um, to inst because we are standing with, the, because we do stand with the Black Lives Matter movement. Right here, here's a sign. And we really want to make sure our community is open to everyone regardless of gender race sexual sexual orientation all of that and so please share your thoughts in the comments about what you think how you feel about the concept of privilege why do you why you think privilege makes people so angry and just any thoughts you may have in general iris thank you so much oh my gosh thanks for being there thanks so much for sharing um so yes thank you iris for tuning in iris if you have anything you have to like to add about the concept of privilege the topic why you think people makes it um people get so angry about it feel free to comment um i'd love to get you know let's have that conversation let's spark the conversation and let's keep it going so it's a really hard topic i like the video even went over privilege can make people really upset when it's brought up and get people really defensive. Privilege isn't supposed to make people defensive. It's really about recognizing the privileges within your own life. And I've said this already, but like I am able-bodied. I do not have to worry about handicap parking, how I'm going to access certain events because I am able-bodied. I can, I'm here. I can hear. I'm not, um, I, have full vision. So I don't have to worry about those things like certain people, like some people do have to worry about those things. Ira says, I think some people think they have been hurt in other ways by our society, that they don't see race as their big privilege. That's really interesting, Iris. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. And that's actually a really interesting point because Hmm, that's a really good point to, to talk about. And if anybody else is tuning in, please feel free to respond or add your comments. Um, that's really interesting. So some, like I, the most, I, the way I can 
best answer this, I think, is or add to the conversation is I am, I would say, like I've said, I'm able bodied. So, but I'm also white. So I think that my, but I don't think the privilege of those both are, don't necessarily, I don't think, um, I think race would be mine. I know being able bodied is a huge privilege, but I know, I think I can more clearly see that being white has such, has such a privilege within society because there are so many systems of oppression that um are set up against people of color that i can t like i'm able to grab a band-aid that is similar to my skin tone as i was saying like it's these my things that just add up and add up and i don't fear for my life like a people like people of color do when they're walking down the street when i have a hood on i can put a hood on because i'm not going to be cornered by somebody or think i'm sketchy walking down the street with a hood on i don't have to double think or um, about things that a lot of people of color do. And again, I was saying like, I am able-bodied. I'm not, I think race, I think about my race more than I think about being able-bodied. And I did say that I think that my one, that pr my race privilege outweighs me being able-bodied, but I don't know. I feel like that's disrespecting the community, people who are not able-bodied in that community. So I want to apologize on that behalf. But um, I really think that it's recognizing your privilege within different parts of life. And Iris says that it's not something we're taught, so it can be jarring for some people to come to terms with if you feel like you're already struggling. Really good point, Iris. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate your openness and your honesty and your participation. So thank you for sharing, Iris. Thank you for joining. Um, it's just, like I, I was saying, so it's not something it's, it can be jarring for some people to come to this term with because we're not, it's not something we're taught. And that's really true. And if you're already struggling. So that's a really good point, Iris. I really, I, I feel like I'm at a, I don't know how, to, a loss for how to answer that properly. I really don't want to step on other people's experiences or I want to welcome other people to share their experiences and their responses. But as I was saying, I, I'm lucky to have grown up in a community, a, a community that is very liberal, that is very, um, and I understand my privilege as a white person. But again, like, what here, this is something. So what do you think about the concept? Like, I don't see color. Like I was watching and reading how the hate you give, which is really, really a great book. We're going to be having an article come out about books to read, um, that relate to the black lives matter movement and all of that. So we're going to have books to read and movies to watch. So stay tuned for that blog. But what do you, um, some, the boyfriend in the book, in the movie says, I don't see color, but that if you don't see color, you don't see patterns of oppression. You don't see that white people are dispro I mean, black people are disproportionately affected by, with um, crim being convicted of minor cr um, of crimes and being arrested. Oh, Iris says, of course you're answering great. I'm just saying what I've heard as a counter argument. Gotcha. Thank you, Iris. I appreciate that. So, what do, do any of you have anything to add to the I the the phrase or in response to the phrase that I don't see color because I think that it's EP people might be thinking that's a very accepting and open thing to say when in reality I would say it's ignorant ignorant to a degree because that's like I've said you're not then you're not seeing how people are people of color are disproportionately affected by with being arrested and the other things in life. So you're taking away those, you're not recognizing your own privilege in uh, essence. That's how I feel, but please feel free to share your own thoughts on any of the topics I've said, privilege, all of that. Please feel free to share. Um, we And thank you, Iris, again, for being so open and sparking that conversation. But if any of you have your own experiences, you know, this is the internet, but please be as open as you're willing to and share your own experiences or share your own thoughts in relation any what uh, in regards to what I have said. If you want to bring up a new topic, that's also great. But um, a new topic in relation to what we are talking about, or any response to comments already made in the comment section, please um, please feel free to add to that. Um, 
I was, and we, again, I just want to emphasize Pandia Health does stand, we do stand with the black community and we stand with women of color, with people of color. We are a community that welcomes everyone regardless of race, sexual orientation, gender. And we are really trying to be a resource for people. So we have how you can support Black Lives Matter movement with local businesses in your area that are black owned. We are doing a lot of um, live events and we are really just trying to be a great uh, resource beyond being a birth control um, delivery company. So I'm super, I'm so overwhelmed with the joy by you, you all joining, but and I really appreciate it. And I just want to emphasize, this is a really, it's, it's a top people we should, um, Iris says, sorry, mid thought. We should keep educating ourselves and others. Thanks Stacy for helping in that process. White privilege is something that we should be comfortable talking about. And that's exactly where I was going. So thank you, Iris. It is something we should all be comfortable talking about. And it's not something that should make people uncomfortable. Even if you are uncomfortable by it, get out. Um, it's about educating yourself to not be uncomfortable with it. You shouldn't be uncomfortable talking about white privilege because it is something that is in my life, it's in other people's lives, and it's about recognizing it, having those important conversations. These conversations are so crucial, and it's about doing your best, doing your, and doing, like Pandia, we're doing, we're trying to do our best to help spark this conversation, have those meaningful conversations and important ones, and just make, have, make sure we, as we have a platform, we need to use that to raise our voice. And I, I am happy that I am a part of this um, process. But again, I do have to realize I am white, so I can't compare my experience to the experience of um, black individuals, people of other people of color. And I really just want to say that I'm not trying to be performative. I really, I, we at Pandia Health really do want to be use our platform to have these meaningful conversations. And I am happy that I can be there in that process. And I really appreciate you all for taking the time. Please share this. It's gonna be on our Facebook. It's gonna be eventually posted on our YouTube. So please share this with your friends. I really appreciate you all for joining and, um, Thank you so much. I really just appreciate it. We're going to be having a, some more watch parties. Um, we're going to be doing probably a little longer form. So please stay tuned for event updates. Give us a like on our Instagram, our Facebook, our we have our Twitter, and follow us, you know, just for updates in general. Our blog is a great resource. We have so many articles about, you know, birth control, PCO, um, PCOS and other articles coming out in that in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. So thank you all so much for joining. Please watch this back and share with friends. I really appreciate it. And once again, just want to emphasize Pandia Health stands with the Black community and we really are so ha um, happy to use our platform to make it so everyone, regardless, everyone of every race, sexual orientation and gender and beyond feels so welcomed and a part of our community. So thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.